Okay, all right. Okay, so let me show you how to create a uh, 3D game in Construct 3, or at least I'm going to show you how to get started at least. Uh, let me just call this whatever. Let's insert a sprite. Uh, let me just make anything here, like nothing special. Just fill it with whatever color. And I want to make an arrow to show which way we're going. Okay. There is our sprite. Let me insert a, a 3D shape. You don't have to color this. I'm just coloring it because I can. Okay. So close that there. There's our cube there. If you run this, you will notice that uh, nothing happens. Okay. Actually, uh, this should be a car object. Let me just add a uh, behavior to this. Behavior, make it a car, where's car, this car. And uh, now you should be able to move. Okay, just to be clear, we're not making a car game. This is gonna be our camera. You can reverse as well. Now the acceleration, I don't know why they do that, but <laughs> that's kind of dumb. It should be set to something else, but all right, let me just set the acceleration to 999 and nine, or nine million, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the uh, steering speed, I'm gonna say that to um, maybe 60 or something. Drift, just make it infinite pretty much. And friction zero. And if you uh, run this now, you can. Well, we have the problem that we can't turn if we're stopped. So let me select that and uh, there's a checkbox here for turn while stopped so if you run this now I love how this compiles so quick uh, you can turn while you're stopping you can reverse as well and like I said we're not making a car game we're making a camera which reminds me of inserting my 3d camera uh, you won't see this on the um, on the layout let me go to events and add a new event it's gonna be every tick. I'm gonna add an action and it's gonna be our camera. Here I'm gonna select uh, look parallel to layout. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, if you name your sprite something else, call it something else, but right now name is called sprite, so it's gonna be sprite. And we want the X of the sprite. Not, not C, X, come on. I can't see anything here, it's super dark. Maybe you should turn the lights on. This will be our Y. And the camera Z, this is the, um, I think the elevation of the camera. Now for the angle, we want the angle of the uh, sprite, okay? So, it's gonna be the angle and we're pretty much done here. That is our 3D world already. Except for we can walk through walls, which is kind of nice. If you were a ghost, you could totally get away with that. But um, for this example, we want to make that a solid object. So let me um, select my object here. And I'm going to go to behaviors. And let's make this a solid object. So now we cannot uh, walk through it as much as we would like to. Uh, I kind of don't like the um, the camera angle there. I think uh, we need to either make this higher or make the camera higher. So I'm gonna go set this uh, to 10 there for the Z elevation. Okay, that's maybe a little too much. Uh, make that fade. Five is kind of good. I mean, it feels like we're crawling on the floor here. <clears throat> so make it, um, I don't know, three or something. And that kind of feels a bit better. Okay, you can always change it. Okay. Um... Okay, so that's good. So let me just uh, copy this. Make a bunch of copies of this. 
you can actually um, uh, stretch them if you wanted to. You can, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna place that like that. And there is your 3D world. Okay. Now let me um, make a couple of sprites here. Is an object. It's gonna be a 3D shape again. And for the left here, I'm going to um, delete this here. Actually, let me um, uh, resize this to, I don't know, maybe like a hundred or something. And I'm gonna draw something here. Uh, maybe a three or something like that. Pixel R3. Not the best pixel art ever, but it's gonna have to do. That's green still and it's brown, there it is. And there, there is our tree there. Uh, if you run this, you notice that we, <laughs> we have a tree in a box, which is not the effect that we're looking for. Okay. So what you can do is uh, you can disable the um, the other size. So you can go to all these other faces and not display them. I still feel like we're too low. I think we should. And that should be a solid object as well. behaviors and make this a solid object okay one copy and paste let's make ourselves a little forest here so let me run this and there is our little forest so that should be a bit higher Elevation, I think uh, we went for five or something like that. I'm thinking we need a floor or something. Okay, let me just make a floor here. Tile background. Okay, so let me just paste the, uh, let me just create a texture here. And there you go. There is our uh, tile map. Run this. You can see that this kind of works, except for that one is totally flying there in the air, so... Um, let me uh, lock my uh, t tile map here. Lock selection. Let me find a proper elevation for these trees. Yeah, I think zero is probably the uh, the proper. Add uh, some fog to the um, to the environment. Click on the layout, and we're going to add effects. And let me add fog. Okay, maybe it's a little too thick. Fog intensity to zero point. Around there. Let me make it green. Uh, 
And that looks a lot better actually. Yeah, that looks better. Let me show you one more thing. I'm going to uh, insert another object. It's going to be a 3D object. And uh, Actually, let me resize this to uh, 80 or something. Alright, so that's how you can get started making your own 3D games in Construct 3. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye now.